so in this session you are going to draw 2d objects with the help of this draw toolbar modify toolbar along with that you are going to use this annotations and some properties to change the types of lines as well as color for the given construction okay so before going to start first of all we have to define a area over which we are going to draw all the constructions so in this case we are going to draw one rectangle for the a3 size to which we have basic starting coordinates as a 0 0 which will start at this origin with respect to x and y axis and we have to select this upper right corner at a dimension of 420 by 297 so once we done with this we have one rectangle of a3 size over this screen okay now in that rectangle we are going to complete all our constructions so before that let me insert the diagrams that we are going to complete over here so here you have one option okay insert tab in that you have to go with the attach option there another window will get pop up over this screen so already i have stored some object views over the desktop so just select this desktop and here you can see we have an object like this so that object we are going to open over this autocad workspace okay so just click over this okay option and now to select a starting point where we want to insert this object okay now if i just select this as a point so in that window that particular object is going to be placed like this so we can directly refer that object over here over the workspace and by means of a simple observation we can complete all the given contour of that object over here with the help of draw toolbar modify toolbar okay now let me go with this home tab now i want to just shift this inserted diagram somewhat over here so that we can use the full space of this a3 size now let me go with this move command just select that object press enter button select one base reference point so that we can move this diagram somewhat over here. okay now if, if we just zoom this we are able to see the construction lines over there okay now the same construction we are going to complete over here now if you just look out the dimensions as well as the diagram over here we have the total length is equals to 70 mm okay and we have a vertical length a height is equals to 60 mm and if you just consider this as a center line with respect to that we have this outer radius of 35 mm so initially we can start with one rectangle to which we have length is equals to 70 mm and height is equals to 60 so that we can construct one rectangle over here and once we draw that rectangle we can refer the midpoint as a center point for these two circles okay so this inner circle we have at a radius of 20 mm this outer circle we have at a radius of 35 mm and later on we can just complete this rectangular geometry at a height of 15 mm and 10 mm distance with respect to this vertical line okay so let's get started for this now let me draw one rectangle so just select this rectangle command in a draw toolbar now you have to select one reference point over the workspace and you have to enter its given length and height so initially we are going to start with this length is equals to 70 and height is equals to 60 so that dimensions we can enter over here so just press tab button and enter height is equals to 60 so by that we will have one rectangle over here okay now to have all the midpoints we have to check this option object snap okay otherwise you can just type o snap over the keyboard okay so this option will get enabled just press enter button the another window will get pop up over this screen so this object snap is nothing but which features we want to see when we are going to construct that dimension lines over the workspace okay so in that case we are going to enable this end point mid point center points node quadrant as well as we can have perpendicular tangent nearest point so all these points we can enable by just ticking over this check box okay and you have to confirm whether we have tick mark this two check box or not so unless until you just tick this two options those features are not going to be visible over the workspace okay so you have to check whether we have enable this two check box or not okay now just click over this okay option now you can see when i am going to select this line you can find one end points on either side as well as the mid points both 
okay now let me press escape button now i want to draw a circle okay for the radius of 20 mm and radius of 35 mm so just select this option center and radius again if i move my cursor over here you can see we are able to find midpoint for that horizontal line so just select that point and click once over there and enter this given radius value so what is the radius value for the inner circle 20 so that we have to enter over here now to activate the previous command just press enter button over the keyboard okay just press enter button so that the previous command is get activated again you can just select this midpoint to draw this outer circle now for this outer circle we have radius of 35 m so just enter that radius 35 and press enter button now if you just look out this given construction only this inner circle is in complete this outer circle we have to just keep this outer region and this inner surface we have to trim out now to have that just go with this trim option over here just select that command move your cursor over the workspace and press enter button okay now you have to select a line that we want to trim out now in this case this inner portion we have to trim out so just select that you can see that particular inner circular region is going to be trimmed now hope it is clear to you okay now just press escape button to come out of this selected command now if i just select this rectangle command this is nothing but the enclosed account but in this case we want to just explore this so that we can make a offset of this vertical line as well as horizontal line to have this rectangular geometry okay so that we can do by means of this explore option over here so just select this explore option and you have to select the object that we want to explore okay so just select it and press enter button now if i just click over here you can see that particular segment is going to be selected so previously if i just click over there the whole rectangle is going to be selected so by means of explode we can just separate all these border lines in a particular segment now what i have to do to draw this rectangle i can make a offset for this horizontal line and that i can have at a height of 15 m so just select this now i can go with this offset okay so just select this line or uh, command you can use copy command as well so that we can have a copy of this horizontal line okay now in this case i am going to use this offset command now let me select this now we have to specify the distance so what is the distance we have with respect to horizontal line 15 mm so that distance you have to enter over here and just press enter button and it will ask select the object that we want to offset so just select it and move your cursor in upward direction now you can see that particular line is going to be replicated at a height of 15 mm. okay now i will use copy command okay so that you will come to know how we are going to use this both offset as well as copy command now let me go with this copy command just select this line press enter button now you have to specify the base reference point to which we are going to make a copy for that selected line so just select this and what is the distance this distance we have 15 again this distance 15 so total height will be 30 so to have exact vertical line just turn on this ortho mode command and just enter distance equals to 30 so at that point we have that line over there now to come out of that selected line command just press enter button now i want to draw a vertical line somewhat over here isn't it so that we have at a distance of 10 mm so again we can just go with the copy command just select this vertical line press enter button again you can define a reference point at this corner and just go on entering that given distances here we have 10 mm distance so just press enter button again the second point we have at a distance of now let me draw it once again just go with this copy command select this line press enter button select this base reference point again enter the value 10 mm and press enter button okay now you can see that particular line we have over there likewise we have to draw this line as well so we have this distance 10 and this 50 so the total distance will be 60 so with respect to this base point we want a second line at a distance of 6 km so just enter that value and press enter button 
Now to come out of that, you can press escape button over. Now only we have to keep this middle rectangle and other extension lines we have to trim out. Okay. So just go with this trim option, press enter button and just select the line that you want to trim out like this. So by this way, we can just trim the extra portions that we have drawn over here. Now you can see we have a middle rectangle over there. Okay. Now you can delete this horizontal line as well. So just press escape button to come out of the selected trim command. Now just select this line and press delete button over the keyboard. Now you can see the same constructions we have completed over here. Okay. Now to shift this whole construction somewhat at a distance over here, just select the move command. Okay. Now select this object by blue selection window. So just select the topmost left corner point, click once over there, release your cursor and just drag your mouse so that we will have one blue rectangle over the screen. Again press over here, the whole object is going to be selected. Okay. And once we selected that, just press enter button and select the base reference point. With respect to that, we can shift this drawn construction like this. Again, select next point. With respect to, we will have this all the constructions. Now the remaining thing is that we have to give dimensions for this object. Okay. Now let me go with this annotation option. So in this case, we are going to give the distance 70 mm over here. So let me select this linear dimension, select this point, this point, we will have a 70 mm distance over there. Okay. Again, to activate previous command, just press enter button. Again, you can select these two points to which we have height is equal to 15 mm like this. Again, just press enter button to activate previous command. Just select this corner point, again this center point, we will have height is equal to 60 over there. Okay. Now let me go with this distance, again press enter button, just select this corner point, again this corner point. So this distance we have 10 mm over there. Okay. Now the remaining things are, we have to give radial values. So select this radius option, just click over there, again press enter button. Again, select this radius, we will have these two radius values over there. Okay, so by this way, we can complete this given construction. Okay, so this is all about the construction of this first problem. Now, let me select another problem. So, just go with this insert tab. There, you will find one attach option. So, just click on it. Again, we will have one window. Over there, you will find the problems that we have saved for the desktop. Now, let me open this second problem. So just click for this open option. Just click for this OK. Select a starting point and create one window over there. Okay. So with respect to that, we will have that problem over the screen. Okay. Now we are going to draw this problem. Okay. So if we just look out over the given problem statement, initially we have to complete two circles. Okay. So this circle we have for the radius 30 m. The second circle we have for the radius 20 m. Okay. What is the center distance they have given? 129. Okay. Now once we complete these two circles, in a first circle we have to draw a hexagon. Okay. In a second circle we have to complete pentagon. Now we have to complete this geometry exactly at the middle. So if you just look out the given construction carefully, over the center line we will have this feature. Okay. And on either side, we have a distance of 10 mm, 10 mm, so that it will cover a total height of 20 mm. Okay. Again, for this feature, we have to draw a line with respect to center line at a distance of 5 mm on either side. Okay. So that we can have these two lines as well. And at the end, we have to complete this circular portion and to which they have given the total distance equals to 70 mm. So first of all, we have to observe the given problem statement carefully and we have to identify which commands we have to use. So that we can complete this given geometry very easy. Okay. Now let's get started for this construction. Now just click over this home tab. Okay. Now first of all, we just complete this two circles, this one and this one to which we have radius 30 and 20 mm and we have a linear distance equals to 120. Now let me go with this first option, circle, center and radius well. Okay. So just click over here. You have to enter radius is equals to 30, press enter button. Okay. Now to have a center point for the second circle, we have to measure linear distance equals to 129. 
so to have that let me go with this line option so that we can draw a line horizontally over which we can measure distance equals to 129 okay now let me select this center point just drag your cursor okay horizontally there you have to enter 129 length press enter button now to come out of this selected line command you can press enter button once again or press escape button over the key okay now we will have this end point over here so that we can use as a center point for the second circle now again just select this circle option select this end point again you have to enter radius equals to 20 mm so just press enter button. hope it is clear to you okay now later on we have to complete hexagon over here okay now to have that hexagon just go with this polygon option in a draw toolbar now in this case we have to enter number of sides equals to 6 okay and press enter button now we have to specify the center point now in this case the center point is nothing but the center point that we have selected for the circle so just select that point and you have to go with this circumscribe the circle okay and there you have to enter the side is equals to 20 mm here you can find the side they have given for that hexagon is equals to 20 mm so just enter that value and press enter okay Again, let me go with this polygon option. Now, instead of hexagon, we have to construct pentagon for the second circle. So, just enter number of sides equals to 5. Press enter button. Again, specify this center point. Again, you have to go with this inscribed circle for the pentagon. Just go with that. Again, enter radius is equals to 50. So, by this way, we will have pentagon and hexagon. Okay. Now, once we are done with this construction, the remaining thing is that we have to draw this horizontal line. So already we have a center line over here. So that we can use to have offset on either side. So what is the distance we have with respect to this outer lines 20 mm. So if we just select the center point, the center line to have an offset on either side we can make an offset of 10 mm. Okay, so just go with the offset command. Select that object line or initially we have to specify the distance 10 mm. Select this line like this and just move your cursor in upward direction so at an distance of 10 mm we will have that offset for this selected line again select this line again move in a downward direction we will have that second now we have completed this line this one and this one okay now this extra portion we can trim out now let me trim this extra lines so that we have a minimum confusion while completing this geometry so just select this trim option, press enter button. Now just go on selecting these lines like this. Again, you can select these lines like this. Again, press escape button or the enter button to come out of this selected line. Again, create one grew selection window so that we can select these three lines at a time and press delete button over the key. Okay, likewise, just select these extra lines by creating one do selection window like this again press delete button over the key okay so by this way we have this outer construction hope it is clear to you yes okay now the remaining thing is that if you just observe carefully we have some radial fillet over there isn't it with respect to these four corners so just go with this fillet option that we have in a modify toolbar and select the object okay or just go with this radius option just go with this radius option here you can enter the approximate radial value because in this problem they have not given this radius for that fillet okay so you can choose the approximate value for it and just select the first and second object with respect to it will create that fillet line again to activate the previous command press enter button again select this first line second line like this again press enter button to activate previous command again select these two lines again press enter button select these two lines so likewise we have created that fillet over here hope it is clear to you okay now the remaining thing is that we have to draw this line this one and this one how we are going to create it so already we have these two lines this one and this one okay or you can just refer the center line. So 
so that we can again have a offset at a distance of 5 mm with respect to center okay so just go with the offset command again select a distance 5 mm because the total distance they have given 10 mm in this figure so on either side we have to take 5 mm 5 mm distance enter that value press enter button select this object line now you can just move your cursor in upward direction we will have that line again select this center line move your cursor in downward direction so that we can have these two lines over there. okay so by this way we will have these two lines this one and this one hope it is clear to you okay now what is the total distance they have given over here 70 so including this radius so if we just escape or the eliminate this radial value what should be the distance the total distance we have 70 including this radius value what is the radius we have 5 mm because the in between distance they have given 10 mm so we can have 5 mm 5 mm so 70 minus 10 60 okay so we can draw a circle over here okay now let me press escape button to come out of this offset command now you can select the circle command just move your cursor over here you will find one midpoint over there okay so already we have this axis line just click over there and enter a radius of 5 mm and press enter button now the same circle we can shift on either side okay at a distance of 30 and 30 okay so this total distance we have 70 this one out of that 70 we have subtracted this 5 5 60 so on either side we will have 30 30 okay so let's go with the copy command select this circle press enter button select this as a base reference point and over here we can enter radius equals to 30 okay again the same circle we can move on this side again enter radius equals to 30 press enter button okay now to come out of this selected command press escape button now we can delete this circle that we have taken for the reference initial so just select it press delete button or the key now we have to do uh, some trimming over here so that just go with this trim option okay press enter button over the keyboard and just go on selecting these lines this one this one this one again this line this line this line again we can trim this this as well again this portion this portion okay now just press enter button select this middle line press delete button over the keyboard you can have the same geometry over there. now the remaining thing is that we have to provide dimensions over that constructed view so again to have all those dimensions just go with the annotation option we have okay now let me fix this object now go with this linear measurement select these two center points this one as well as this one you will find 129 distance over there. okay now again to have the previous command press enter button select these two points this one and this one there you will find 7 mm distance okay again press enter button you will find 20 mm distance over here okay again press enter button you will find the same distance over here like this again go on pressing this enter button so that we can have this in between distance like this over here now the remaining thing is we have to give radial values so just go with this radius option select this geometry we have 30 mm again select this geometry we have 20 mm. so by this way we have completed these two objects okay so only just you have to understand the given object and accordingly we have to think which commands we are going to use in this draw toolbar as well as modify tool so once we are done with this selection we are going to complete this two views very easy now we will draw this problem by means of this draw modify as well as this annotation and property toolbar so if you just look out the given problem statement we have one circle over here okay to which they have given radius equals to 7.5 by referring the same center point we can complete one circle to which we have radius equals to 30 m and at the topmost point they have given one inclined line over here so just draw this inclined line by appropriate inclination and to that we have to complete one 90 degree inclined line in a downward direction once we complete this projection we can draw a radius of 60 mm by referring this center point again we can complete a radius of 40 mm to have this center line over here 
and if you just look out this slot to which they have given distance equals to 15 mm by referring this center line we can have a offset at a distance of 7.5 on either side and once we complete this we can close this count tool by having a radius of 7.5 and at the end we can refer this center point to have this half circle geometry over here okay now once we done with this at the end we have to complete this r 10 mm circle okay so let's start for this construction now let me select this region over here now initially i will just select this center and radius option i will click somewhat over here okay just enter radius value 7.5 again by referring the same center point we can complete this outer circle to which we have radius equals to 30 mm so to enable this previous command press enter button select this center point and enter radius equals to 30 we will have that circle over there. okay now once we done with this we have to find this point okay so that point we will get once we check o snap option now here you can find all those options for there okay so in this case we will use this quadrant option so that the topmost points on either side of that circle we will highlight it by this option now just select a line command select this topmost point and just draw a line at a certain angle as per the given inclination just click over there and press enter button to come out of this selected line command okay now in this case we want to draw a line at an 90 degree with respect to this initial line okay so we can use this rotate command okay so that we can rotate this drawn line at an angle 90 degree over so just go with this rotate command just select this object line okay and you have to press enter button and you have to specify the base point to which we want to rotate this object line so just select this as a object line now you will find two options over here in a command prompt so just go with the copy option so that we can keep our previously selected line and we have a copy at an angle of 90 degree over there. so just go with the copy option and here you can enter 90 degree angle like this so by this way we can have 90 degree line over there. okay now once we done with this we have to draw a circle for the radius equals to 60 by referring this center point so this center point we are going to refer to have this radius 60 circle so just select this first option select this point as a center point and enter a radius of 60 mm over there now you can see we have that circle over there so all the constructions we are going to complete into this circle okay now likewise to have this center line we have to draw a circle having radius equals to 40 mm so again just go with this previous option just select this as a center point now you have to enter radius equals to 40 press enter button okay now once we done with this we can use offset command to have this two lines on either side okay now we can do one thing over here already we have this line so the extra portion of this drawn circles we can trim down so that we can have minimum confusion while completing this geomet okay now let me go with this trim command just press enter button now you can select this two geometries okay now press escape button now we'll just select this much portion this one and this one okay now let me select the trim command once again so that we can trim this line as well let me zoom this press escape button to come out of this now we can use offset command so that we can replicate this center line which nothing but this center line on either side So what is the total distance they have given? 15. So on either side we can take 7.5, 7.5. So just go with this offset command. Specify the offset distance 7.5. Select the object line and just click over there. Again select this object. Move your cursor on either side. You will get that arc over there. Okay. Now we can complete circle over here. To which we have radius equals to 7.5. So just escape. Just press escape button to. come out of this stream of command again go with the circle command select this intersecting point as a center point there you have to enter radius equals to 7.5 press enter button. again press enter button to activate previous command again select this intersecting point 
you have to enter radius equals to 7.5 like this. Now you can see we have completed this course. Again, at this top end, we have to complete one semicircle to which we have radius equals to 20. So again, just go with this radius, uh, sorry, circle command, select this intersecting point, enter radius equals to 20 over there and press escape. So we have completed all these outer lines. Just delete the unwanted lines that we have completed over here. Now just go with this trim command, press enter button. Now we can trim these extra portions on either side like this. Okay. Again, we can trim this portion as well. This one, this one. Again, we can trim this portion, this portion. So at the end, it will not get selected. So in that case, you have to select this line separately like this and just press delete button over the key. So it will get deleted. Now we have outlined for this given feature. Now the next thing is that we have to complete this R10 radius. So to have this, we have one option, two points. Okay. So in that case, we can pick this point as well as this point. And by means of these two points, we can have that circle over. There. So just go with this two point option, select this point as well as this point. We will have one circle over. There. Again, go with the trim option, just press enter button and select this line that we want to trim like this. Okay. Again, we want to trim this portion as well that is enclosed by this inner circle like this. Okay. Again, press enter button, select this line separately and press delete button over the key. So by this way, we have a feature over there. Okay. The same identical geometry we have completed over here. Now the remaining thing is that if you just look out the given component view carefully, this center line they have given in a red color, okay, as well as these two offset lines they have given in a red color, and the line type if you just observe carefully, they have given one center line and one dotted line both. But in this constructed view, we have used a, a continuous line over there. Now we have to change the color as well as line type for this region, okay. So just select this line, let me zoom this and you have to go with this property toolbar over here. Okay. So in that you will find the first option to change the color. Now you can see the change over the screen. Okay. In this case, we are going to select red color. Now we have to select the proper line type. So this is nothing but the center line. Now to have that line, we have this third option line type over there. So just click on this drop down menu you will find the line types over here. Suppose previously that center line is not loaded over there. You have to go with this other option. So just click on that. Another window will get pop up over the screen. You have to go with this load option and you have to select a proper line type that we want to use. Okay. So already I have selected this center five line over there. So just click on it. Already I have that line, that's why it is showing one message, reload the line type. So I will just click on that and we will have that option over there. Okay. Now just select this line once again. Just go with this drop down menu. Now I will convert that line into center line. Now you can see the change. We have a center line over there. Okay. Now again we can select these two lines like this at a time. Again you can just go with the color option. We can turn into red color. Again, we will select the line type like this. Now you can see the same identical component I have completed over. Hope it is clear to you. Now the remaining thing is we have to give dimension for all those constructions. So again, you have to go with this radius option. Just measure this radius value. Pick your point where we can locate that distance. Again, press enter button to activate previous command. Again, just select this radius value. You will have that radius over there. Again, just go on pressing that selected annotation. Again, select this line. We will have 60 radius over there. Okay. Now again, select this line to which we have radius equals to 10 like this. Okay. Now only the remaining thing is we have to give dimension for this 15M. Now if you just look out the geometry carefully, we don't have a linear dimension for this given component. So this is nothing but the aligned dimension. With respect to this inclined line, we have to give dimensions parallel. So this is nothing but the aligned dimension. So I will show you what is the difference between this linear and aligned. So 
so i will just go with the linear option over here if i just select this two point you can see we have this linear dimension like this but i want to give the line dimension in line with that center line that we have constructed for our reference over here so just go with this align dimension again select these two points now you can see i am able to show the dimensions parallel to this reference so by this way we have completed this geometry over here. okay so you have to complete all those constructions so that you will have a detailed idea how we are going to use all this draw toolbar modify toolbar along with this annotation and property tool thank you now once we done with this all the construction just go with this application menu there you will find one export option just go with the pdf okay the another window will get pop up for this screen now you will find the export options over there just click over the drop down select the window option now you have to select this window that we have selected for our actual construction which is of a three size so just select it now we have to go with this page setup so by default we have current option over there so just click over the drop down menu select this override now you can see this page setup override option is get enabled now just click on it another window will get pop up for this screen okay now in that case you have to select the paper size so all the constructions we have completed over the a3 size so just select a3 size to have a print out of all the constructions so you have to select a3 size over here to which we have dimensions 420 by 297 now instead of going for the portrait now you can see the preview over here so if we have a portrait option only half page is going to be print out over there. now we have to select this landscape now you can see the whole a3 page is going to be utilized to have that proper print out and you have to ensure that we have tick mark this fit to paper option check box over there and once we done with this all selection press this okay button and save this drawing okay so here you can enter your parent number or name okay and just select a location where you want to save it now in this case i am going to save it over the desktop just you can save over the various locations as well as per your recommendations for the availability of space just select it and press save button okay so the whole construction is going to be saved in a pdf format but to have the same geometry for further modification you have to save this construction in a dot dwg okay so instead of going for pdf you have to go with the dot dwg so already i have uploaded that video so just go through that you will come to know how we are going to save this option as well. okay now let me open that save pdf over here now you can see the whole constructions we have for this a3 size so it will take some time to open this okay now you can see the whole pdf is we are going to save and at the bottom you can see the time of that drawing construction so you can add those tags as okay so thank you for this